does not stay asleep for very long, I tell you what. Okay, um, yep, that didn't work. So, uh, now we know. Now we know. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to another really cool, really awesome, exciting episode. Today, today, we are going to be doing stuff. I wrote a list because I forget what I'm going to do half the time. Um, speaking of which, the, the last episode, um, apparently my game didn't save like the last 20 minutes of stuff I did at the end. Um, I don't... I don't know. Xbox has issues, okay? And this this leads me into my next point in a minute. But anyways, so, uh, luckily we had already done the cave and everything. It was just literally me going back home and putting stuff away and, and all that stuff. But anyways, so, uh, yeah. I had to go and, and just redo all that again. And I was like, dude, what the hell? Turns out I had to dino wipe so that it would properly save because on the Xbox it has issues. Um, if there's too many dinos, apparently it just does not like to save. And after you do a cave, there's a lot of dinos spawned in. Um... Whatever, way she goes. Leads me to my next point. How can something like Ark, okay? Love this game. My, like, one of my top favorite games. Anyways, how can something like Ark, where it is literally a reskin, okay, have the same issues that it had when it released the first time? When Ark Evolved came out, Survival Evolved, it had these issues, okay? It had the, the meshing, the lag, the crashing, the, the, the like constant problems. They patched them. How in the mother of blue cheese did you guys remake a game that was already the same game, but remake the same problems that you had already fixed? And on top of that, if you've already fixed them, how is it taking months to fix them again? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. Uh, something like Pal World, which is literally 60% done, apparently, according to the devs, it's blowing the world up. Like, literally blowing the world up. It's it's, it's insane. I love the game. Um, you may not, that, that's okay. But anyways, um, how can a game that is only 60% done be better put together than a game that was already complete and just remade in a better graphics? I, I just, I, I can't wrap my head around that one. Um... We're not going to have a whole episode of this. It's just, I, I had a couple things I had to get off my mind. So, uh, yeah, the constant problems with Ark is really annoying considering the game is, has already been finished and done and they fixed these things. They remade the game in a better graphics engine and all the problems came back and they can't fix them again. I, it, it blows me away. But anyways, so we're, we're going to do some stuff today. We're going to go do uh, another cave prep. We're going to do some taming, some, some stuff. Like, I got a big list um, because the game tends to not save things the odd time. It uh, really confuses my list because I'll already have stuff done and then it's like, wait, hold on. Now I gotta do that again because it wasn't done because it didn't save it. So yeah, anyways, that, that's that's the plan, okay? Um, I just, I can't wrap my head around it. How can a game not be fully, like, like furnished out or, or, I can't even think of the word, okay? How can it not be, how can it not be, like, ironed out, we'll say when the game's been done before, like literally done, finished, you completed the game. Um, I'm just, I, anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna put down this Griffin, uh, bench because, oh, it's gotta go on a floor. Are you for real? I gotta put this on a floor. Okay. Apparently this has to go on a floor. Um, yeah. So just a, just a little grind my gear thing. Um, Like the roofs, okay? I, I went and fixed all these roofs after the episode in the last episode, and uh, it didn't save that part, so now I gotta refix those roofs again. The, the... I just can't get over the game, okay? How, how, how is your game still so broken when it was already done? Anyways, we're gonna put this down. Boom, there we go. We got a griffin bench. Give me some... Carry some stuff over here. We need some hide, some fiber. Um, that one's the chitin one. We might just go basic for now. Fiber, hide, and uh, we can put goggles on it. But I don't. I don't know if I want goggles. So uh, yeah, I, if you're enjoying the videos, give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that sub button. Tell a friend. Share it around. All that cool stuff. Um, it's no wonder the ARC fan base is dying. Like, when you look at the people playing it now, it, it's dropped drastically. 
and and it it blows me away because the game is actually really fun. Now me, I have the enjoyment of mods, which I never had before because it was on console. Um, that's literally the only thing keeping me playing it because yeah, the game is kind of stale. It's been out for a long time. There, there's no new content really coming. Um, the content that they are actually going to be adding soon is pay content. So uh, if you didn't know that, um, every time a DLC drops, they're releasing a paid DLC with it that isn't included. Like, we, we get to pay for that. Um, that, that is another grind my gear thing. Um, but it is what it is. I just, I, I can't, uh, can't believe the company has taken such a drastic turn like it was one of my favorite games still is like i still really really love arc it, it's don't get me wrong the game is still an incredible game um just blows me away the amount of problems it has the amount of issues that aren't being dealt with even though they've been dealt with before um i, I don't know just it's almost like they don't care and uh when you see something like pal world come along come along and uh the devs are like, yeah, the game's only like 60% done. And it's like, bro, are you are you kidding me? I have less problems with that game than I have with any pro any game ever. Like, I just, the stability of that game is incredible. Um, and it really, it should be getting these, these other game developers to really shake their heads on, you know, enough is enough. Like, quit throwing out all these garbage games and, and half-ass done games. And give us a complete game. I mean, we pay for it. Like... Some people get it through Game Pass, which again, I get some of my games through Game Pass, and if I like the game, I'll buy it. Um, but I mean, you have so many people buying these games, and I'm, I'm gonna go out and throw Mortal Kombat out there, because I, I just I don't even care at this point. Mortal Kombat absolutely, absolutely pissed me off. Um, I paid 220, 220 Canadian for that game, plus, you know, all its other extra bullshit. Um... That was the most expensive game I've ever purchased. I mean, that I that was that hurt. That was a lot of money, and uh, every video I posted had issues. Um, YouTube doesn't have the the best connection with Mortal Kombat. Um, it's too graphic and gory, so you have to cut out a lot of that stuff. And uh, the thing with it is, is I spent a lot of time, a lot of money, on a game that in the end actually turned out to be horrible. Um, when I first started it, you could go in and you could actually rank up some XP, and uh, you could you could level up your characters pretty good. And they noticed that and didn't like it, so they patched it. And then it's like, okay, well, you know, now they have these towers you can work through and you can level up your characters through that. Um, downside, after the next update, again, they nerfed the towers so that you couldn't do that. And it's like, dude, like, so many of these game companies just want to take your money hardcore take your money and they don't care about the game anymore they know it's a piece of shit they just want your money and it's horrible because i stopped playing mortal kombat i deleted it off my xbox it is not even on my console anymore and i paid 220 bucks for that game not even finished it like i, I haven't even played a quarter of the characters but the company the, the game the way they treat their people just drove me right out of it and it's like you know what i how are companies getting away with stuff like this nowadays? Like, you don't care about your people. You just want your money. And then you see something like Pal World come along again. And I bought it for $40 Canadian. It was on, like, came out on, on launch. And again, anyone doesn't know Canadian, we have horrible prices here anyways. But, uh, anyways, bought it for 40 bucks, And it was the best game I've bought. I, I paid $40 for a game that is literally better than any other game on my console. I mean, this is my opinion. It's just, just my opinion. You may not like Pal World. But uh, it is literally better than any other game on my console. And I paid 40 bucks for that game. The devs have been like, oh, it's not even finished yet. And it's like, dude, you guys are like, boom, on top of fixing stuff. Like, there's been patches almost daily because they're, t they're fixing it. And, I mean, it blows me away to see these other companies that just don't care. Like, at all. Don't care. And, and it's drove me away from a lot of them. And I can't blame people when I see the, you know, the, the ARC fan base. There used to be piles of people playing this game. Now, there it, it's dropped off drastically. And maybe it's because the lack of content. Again, if you have been playing on PC, you probably have had access to mods for quite some time. And you're probably bored with the mods, too. Luckily for people like me on console, we didn't have mods. So, 
you know, the addition of mods actually does make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Like, I, I can run around on a griffin right now, and, and, you know, we can have other cool dinos like the Indominus Rex and shit. But if it weren't for that, I don't think Ark would be any interest right now. I mean, a playthrough of this for the channel wouldn't be doing anything because people have seen the island a hundred times. And, I mean, I kind of feel bad the odd time because I'm using super powerful Trank darts. I mean, we took down a Giga in like eight darts. But, I mean, come on. Like, we've all beaten the island over and over and over. We've, we've been here for years now. I need something to kind of have fun with. I need something to keep me enjoying the island because it's not... It's not the most enjoyable out of all the DLCs either. Like, I would even play Scorched Earth over the island just because it's got a bit more of a challenge to it. Um, not enough not, not enough content to keep people enjoying it. Um, and I, I think that's kind of what it is with a majority of the games nowadays. The, the lack of content compared to the price that they're asking is just... It, it's not even comparable anymore. Um... And I mean, I, I hate to just be like, oh, power world, power world, but I mean, there's no other game that has literally came out like it, where they're not charging you an arm and a leg and a, t and a child for, for their game. I mean, they literally are charging a very little amount for their game. The game is more complete than most games that I've actually seen or played. And when it comes to fixing stuff, they're on top of that shit. Even if you take Pal World aside, even if you're a Poka fan and, and you have hate on Pal World, just... just Take the Pokemon aspect out of it for a second and just look at the actual game aspect. And I mean, there's there's no games like it out there. And I mean, it sucks because why did it take such a small company to come along to make such a huge difference in the world? And I mean, I know this episode's kind of turned into a, a you know, chatting and, and ranting episode. And I do apologize for that if, if you know, you've gotten bored. But... It just it's it's been one of those things that's been bothering me lately because again the constant rollbacks on arc here for me and others the crashing consistently for other people i mean these games are are becoming so unstable and unplayable and i mean again it took a small company to come along and show you that you know what it can be done here here's a stable ass game yeah there's issues with it don't get me wrong it does crash it does have problems but it's in early access it took a game to come along and be like hey you know this is what you can do you know you don't need the best of the best of the best to make a good game. And I mean, I'm really, really hoping that it's going to actually get some of these devs to, you know, maybe reconsider, hey, maybe we should be a little bit more on top of our stuff. Maybe we should pay a little bit more attention to our audience. I mean, it's it's like YouTube. If you take away the viewer, what what's a YouTuber? They, they literally are nothing. They're posting a video that nobody's watching if you take the viewer away. And it's the same thing with these game companies. If nobody's going to buy your game, you, you don't exist anymore. You're, you're going to go under. And it's like they've gotten to the point where they don't care. They know that, oh, you're just going to buy our game anyways. Me, for example. Like, I, I I bought the new Mortal Kombat. Just boom, pre-ordered it. I was like, yeah, I love it. I want the new game. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm buying it. And then you jump forward three, four months. And, I mean, I hate the game. It's been deleted off my system. And, I mean, I don't understand. They, they just know that they're going to take your money. You're going to pay for it. They don't care. And it sucks because a lot of people really do enjoy these games. Me, my, like myself included. Um, I, I really hate that I can't play Mortal Kombat. I love the game. I hate what, they're do, do, what they've done to the game. I hate how they're treating the fan base. And, you know, by that I mean, like, just not caring about us at all. Like... They know the XP system is, is, you know, being nerfed. They know people are trying to level up characters, and they don't want you to get them any faster. And I don't understand why, because when you look through stuff like that, you earn maybe, I'm going to say $5 per character worth of content that you could buy. So what, man? Like, that's not that much money you're losing out on when you're charging 200 and something dollars per game. I mean, I, I just, I, I, I don't understand anymore. But anyways, we're, we're going to get to uh, actually doing something in this episode. And uh, can I apologize for the fucking... Oh my god, 15 minutes. 15 minutes almost of me ranting. Damn, I, I, I am sorry, okay? Anyone that actually is still here, y'all are troopers, man. We're going we're gonna to go do something cool because I, I just ranted for like half the episode. Wow. Okay, let's, let's see. Oh man. Oh, wrong one. Hold on. I want this one. 
Whoa, 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 max level Spino. Y'all are still here, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, we got this. Dude, these tranks are just, like, insane. Not gonna complain, though. We just dropped that Spino like a sack of shit. All right. You stay there, and, uh, stay on passive. I can't remember if you got an oxygen stat. I really hope you don't. Um, you do have an oxygen stat, but you don't appear to be losing oxygen. I'm not going to complain. There you go. There's some uh, kibble for you, bud. And I'm going to get out of here before a piranha comes along. Dude. I wasn't expecting that. That was cool as shit. Max level Spino. Y'all suffered through half the episode of me ranting, but uh, guess what? Guess what? There's we, we th there's a reward, okay? We got a we got a max level spino here. Now whether we get it or not is another thing. What is that? What the hell is that? A little ostrich. It's a little funky. It's got, it's got some uh, it's got some pretty wild animations there. All right. Ah oh, man. Okay. So yeah, yeah. All that ranting aside, we're gonna enjoy uh, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy some art. Because you know what, the game is actually fun. It is fun. All the all the issues aside. Alright. Dino wipe happened to be a good idea, apparently. Not only can I save my game, we got a cool dino here. Ain't that right, little buddy? Called you Wind Warrior, because I don't know. I'm running out of names, man. Like like naming stuff is hard. It's it's I I don't know. Like I got some creativity when it comes to other stuff, but like when it comes to names, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's called you Bird Lion? Like, not, not quite that bad, but I mean, yeah. Alright, hopefully nothing, uh, hopefully nothing wanders. I mean, I was gonna cut out, and I figured, yeah, I'll cut out, and this thing's gonna tame up. Because that's, that's what happens. So... Should I... watch I'm gonna stop it and it's gonna tame right up man I'm glad I didn't keep you all there waiting this guy took a long long time okay now downside I don't have cryopods um, because I spent the first little while of this uh, ranting and talking um, I forgot to bring cryos cuz well yeah um, so this dude's gonna just follow us I guess and uh, Yep, hopefully uh, we just make it home without any issues. I mean, he's pretty big, and uh, I don't know, he's one of the strongest, so we, we shouldn't have too many issues, but uh, we'll see. Damn fast in the water, too. Holy shit. All right, never mind. Maybe he will be able to keep up. Wow. No, I thought we were going to have some issues, but uh, dude is fast. Okay, cool, cool. So, I'm going to uh, get this guy back over to the base. Um, apparently, we're going to go try to tame some more stuff. I wasn't, uh, yeah, wasn't planning, so I didn't grab any cryopods. We still have the dinos that we did the cave with. So, yep, let's uh, get rid of these guys here. Oh, really? Okay, let's go. Can we get through here without this being attacked by all those people? Hey, we can. You're pretty damn fast, man. Okay, I'm going to meet you guys back at the house, and uh, I'm going to collect some cryopods and stuff so we can uh, do a little bit more taming. This guy was actually really cool. I was not expecting to find a 150. Decent, man. Decent. All right. Spino is back. Um, he's he's a little hurt, and he, uh, he got stuck up on the... Um, uh, spike walls over here. So, uh, yeah, he's just gonna sit there and relax for a little bit. I grabbed a couple cryopods and our tranks, our kibble. We are gonna go and just kind of check out some stuff. Um, I don't exactly have any plans as to what we're gonna tame at the moment. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in the creature finder? This one I have on. It, uh, I don't know. It's not... Not the most accurate. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to keep it on, really. Like, it's... It only picks up the stuff in our general area, which, I mean, I can kind of 
look myself to see what's going on. I don't really, uh, don't really need it. Um, the other one is the one I use when I'm trying to find certain things, but it's the one that turns the graphics into absolute dog turd. So, uh, yeah, it's not overly fun to use either. So, I don't know. Um, unless I'm actually searching for, like, specific dino parts, like, for doing the bosses. I just kind of explore like this to, to see what we can't find. I mean, this is how we come across some neat shit, like that Spino. We were sitting there just kind of ranting and talking and doing our thing, and all of a sudden, boom, Spino. So... I don't know. I'm uh, I'm gonna look around, see what I can't find, and uh, bring y'all back once we find something of of interest. Is there? I think we already got this explorer note. We did. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, I'll bring y'all back when we find something interesting. All right. There's uh, actually a really nice brachiosaur here, but we cannot get it because we don't. Uh, Apparently have what we need. However, there's also a Mirax here, which I don't know what it needs. I should actually have looked. Raw prime meat. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be my luck that you're gonna have a special way of taming you or something. There we go. Oh shit. I wonder if we hit our own uh, dino there at first. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. You better not be like the Indominus and uh, just fake sleep. Okay. Can I tame you? Or are you a different kind of tame? Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I should have looked it up. Alright, um, I think this one's kind of like the... Carcharodontosaurus. I don't know. I think we're supposed to feed it baby tames. Cool. Now we know. Okay. Well, oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo! He does not stay asleep for very long. I tell you what. Okay. Um. Yep. That didn't work. So. Uh, now we know. Now we know. Okay, there's a star elephant here, 145, and it's not the rainbow. I, I think I'm happy. Hold on, we need to get rid of these guys first. And not risk anything happening to this guy. And you better be a normal tame. I mean, I've seen some, uh, some Chalicotheriums I wanted to tame, but they require alcohol. We ain't got that. I think this guy's just a simple knockout. You, uh, you felt funny. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all just give me a minute. I don't know. We'll give you four. That should be enough. Oh man, this guy looks really cool. I don't really care for the, uh,. The rainbow versions, but the star ones themselves are just really, really nice. Okay, we're gonna go clear these guys out over here. These are gonna cause us an issue too. Cute little terror birds. Whoa! I tamed one of those. Those are actually pretty high levels. Holy shit. Cool beans. All right. Do. So, didn't see any babies with this guy or anything like that, so I think it's just him. Her. I didn't even check the gender. Okay, I don't see anything else. <laughs> I think we're safe for a minute. Okay. Man, these guys are gonna uh, be cool. Basically, the woolly rhino just a reskin. I don't know exactly what all they do, but uh... yeah, we got a female. Nice. Be nice to find a male somewhere. All right, hopefully nothing hurts that. I don't think so. I'm just gonna take a quick glance around. See if there's anything. What do we got here? We got a berry. A 110 berry. That's not bad either. Maybe some nice stuff spawning in finally. Sometimes we get lucky. All right, well, this guy is uh, 
half tamed up already. That's not bad. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy for a second, and uh, I will bring you all back in a minute once it's all tamed up. We're going to uh, continue munching these guys, though, so they don't uh, cause us any issues. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. I feel like we're a little overweight. See, I'm hoping I don't have to even cut out. Sometimes I don't, because they're not very long, and then other times it takes a long time. I try to dual purpose while it's taming and see if I can, you know, get something else or. Oh, that's a. What is that? Oh, you're one of the poo things. Well, we don't need one of you. Already got one of you. Are there any boxes up here? Maybe. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Yo, another 135. Okay, you know what? Oh, right in the face! Let's get rid of these guys. I know they're gonna cause me a problem. Okay, man. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Alright, so we have two. They're both female, but that's okay. We are gonna, uh... Basically see which one's better, and we'll use it for a breeding. Everything just keeps spawning in here. Got no time, man. No time. Go away. Oh! Don't, don't you be doing that shit. Alright, you're the 110. I gotta get rid- Oh, hold on. We gotta get rid of you. I can't risk you attacking my elephant. Whoa, 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 whoa! You must have stunned our dude, didn't you? Oh, you got a person on you! Oh, really? Really? You think it's, you think it's like that? I want to hope I don't hit your dino. Oh, we're coming. There we go. Sorry. You gotta go. There we go. Okay. So I think we're good. This guy should be just about teamed up. We must be, like, really heavy. Oh, we are. Holy... Yeah, that can just all go for now. I don't even care. There we go. That's better. Whew! Alright. I'm gonna get these guys tamed up, and uh, I'll bring y'all back in a sec. Alright, so, we got both those guys tamed up. I'm gonna have to actually uh, take a look and see which one's better. We want, like, good melee and stuff. Um, so, 399. Oh, you have 434. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with you. 64, 60 in health. So this one here has better health and melee, so I think we're going to go with that one. Oh, one didn't tame out as high either. Must have taken a bit of damage. Interesting. Anyways, so, we got two of those. I'm going to look around and see if I can find a male so we can actually do some breeding of these guys. They will definitely help with the dragon boss army because we want more herbivores. Um, probably going to end her here though. That way I can just kind of find this dino, get back to base and everything, and we won't drag the episode on forever. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that sub button if you're new here, tell a friend, share it around, all that cool stuff. Most importantly, hopefully you're all being kind to one another, being kind to yourselves, and I'll see each one of you guys here real, real soon.